today I'm going to be showing you how to go from this to this and get your very own custom logo in F1 2023. If you're bored of having these really generic looking logos and they just suck, then I'm going to be walking you through how to get different ones, custom ones, and even real world brands if you really wanted to. So if you guys haven't already seen, I've already done a custom helmet and livery tutorial for F123. Check them out. We're going to need to download a few things in the description. There'll be links to all of these. This time you'll only need WinRAR. You'll need the Intel DDS plugin. Uh, just click download and at the top download the zip. But make sure you follow these instructions very carefully as it can be quite tricky for those people who aren't used to it. And finally going to need the Ego ERP archive, the latest version 9.1. And we can finally get ready to go. So once you've got down your desktop, we're going to open this up and we're going to find a way to set our directory now at the top in settings if you hit st uh, starting directory you're gonna need to put your f1 folder if you're not too sure where that is if you open up steam uh, right click on your f123 click manage browse local files it will then open up a folder um, where your location of the game is so once you've done that you'll be ready to go and it will save you a little bit of time later on so we're going to open up the game we're going to start at the very beginning to help you guys out we're going to go to 23 asset groups at the bottom we're going to go to ui package then we're going to go texture arrays then followed by customization and then at the very top the emblem large and then finally the emblem now in here there's a load an absolute load of different emblems but we're going to stick to the one that i've always used which is going to be the formula emblem um open it up like this and we're going to export it to our desktop and we can start to make and design our own logo once we're in photoshop we agree with something like this a bit confusing but we need to pull the logo out of these colors so on the right hand side if you open up your channel tab you'll see the black and white one so the best way to do this is hold control and left click on the layer it will then highlight the logo and then we can then pull that out by making a copy of the original texture so to make it a little bit easier for ourselves we're going to make it pink so we can kind of differentiate this from the background if you want to what you can also do is kind of make yourself like a little guide in terms of like height uh, just to make life a little bit easier i've kind of get an idea of how it is obviously we're going to do the quadrant logo for this video as you would have seen in the thumbnail so you just want to scale this down there's not really a guide as to how big or how tall. Generally, you also want to keep it very square and you can kind of gauge it from there. So the next thing you want to do is we want to paint out this white on the black because the white is what you see in game. The black isn't there. So we're going to paint this out with black and we're going to head back over to our quadrant logo. And like we did with that, we're going to hold control and then left click to select it. And then this will allow us to paint in the logo with white. If you want to do it a different way, you can just do it with the paint bucket tool once it's selected. But either way works just as fine. So now we have it in this logo and you can see on the side we've got the green and the red still in the channel. So the best way to fix this is to match the color to the logo. That way you don't get any weird outlines or different colors on it. So now you're ready to go. We're going to save it with the new Intel DDS plugin that we saved with earlier. We're going to call it Quadrant Logo for now. Now for the save settings, this is slightly different to the other things we've done. If you want to make sure you've got it correctly is you can always bring it up side by side with the erp archiver make sure it all matches in this case it's only one bit map so you can get away with none obviously make sure it's bc7 srgb and with alpha because we're using an alpha channel so then we can now import this into the game uh, import the quadrant logo there's no multiple places for this one so we can just hit save and then we're ready to check it out inside of uh, f1 world which is a massive pain in the rear to uh, actually find when you want to do customization. So you can create a new logo if you want. Um, you can just replace another logo. It doesn't actually make a difference. I'm going to delete this one for now. And then um, I'll create a new one just to kind of show a new process if you haven't got one already. Now for this, we don't need a background. So we can keep, keep it without a background for now. And then you scroll down. If you've done the formula one, it'll be roughly here. Uh, you can see in the edit style, we haven't actually done the, you know, the bevel, the emboss and all that stuff. So for now, it's just a basic logo. You'll be able to figure that out if you wanted to do that. But for now, it's not important. So now obviously the colors aren't correct. So let's fix the colors. So for an object or logo like this, it's only one tone color. So make sure the saturation is all the way to the max, luminance is all the way down. And then with the second one, you can actually kind of make it what you want. You can make it green, you can make it red, orange, you can literally do whatever you want. You can match this to the color yourself. There's no real way uh, if you want to be a little bit more creative with it. If you do want to get the exact color the way it's supposed to be, then I'll show you that very shortly when we do like a, a multiple tone color. But just for the sake of it, if you want to make any color, um, obviously in terms of brand guidelines, 
quadrant has to be the uh, the exact one. So this is really easy how to do essentially a single tone logo. Obviously, given the size, if you wanted to make it fit like a border or like a badge, obviously you'd have to resize it a little bit and kind of go from there. Um, you could probably import a badge uh, from the other ones if you really wanted to, but generally speaking, we're gonna keep it like this. So we're gonna use the Red Bull logo as an example. We've got three different colors going on here. We've got the red, the white, and the yellow. So we're gonna scale this up roughly. Let's get rid of the old logo. We don't need that. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do, of course, is we're going to need to paint out the quadrant logo. So we're going to go into that alpha layer, get our black brush and just paint out that logo. And then once again, we're gonna click on the Red Bull logo of control, and then we're just gonna paint in the white. So then that logo is good to go. Now for this one, luckily there is a white outline of the logo on everything apart from the yellow. So we can actually just get away with white. If you wanted to be really specific, you could do like an outline around the yellow if you wanted on the background, but the white I reckon we'll be able to get away with. So let's save this for now. And then I'll show you how we get it working in game. It's more of an in-game thing rather than an actual design aspect. So we'll save it as Red Bull, same settings as before. So now we're in game, we've imported it. We're gonna look at this. So how this works for this, it needs to be red on the first column and green on the second one. That's just how the game reads it. Because it's two-tone colors, um, it needs to be red and green for it to work. So on the left-hand side, we're obviously gonna do full saturation, 120 luminance, and then obviously we'll do it on green. Either ends of the spectrum work for the red, but all the way to the left. Uh, probably works out best and then 80 on the green for the right and then boom you'll have your logo regardless of how many colors you have but that's been it for me guys i hope you have enjoyed if you have any questions please do feel free to comment make sure you message me on twitter if you really are struggling and i'll see you in the next video guys take care bye bye